What's happening with Dr. Yaring in the Middle East and what are his chances of getting off the ground? Well, I think uh, the task of Dr. Yaring is uh, thankless and uh, it's a very difficult uh, task. I, uh, Dr. Yaring has my full confidence. Uh, I ask him to continue his efforts and I'm personally convinced that the United Nations has the duty to continue the negotiations with parties concerned. This is also the reason why I asked Dr. Yaring to take contact with uh, the president of Senegal and Mauritania, the two uh, presidents who uh, dealt with the Middle East problem uh, on behalf of uh, a number of African heads of state. The conversations uh, Dr. Yaring had were very fruitful, helpful. He's now back in Moscow because uh, his foreign minister is paying an official visit to the Soviet Union, but he will return to New York after this visit, and we will then discuss uh, the further uh, steps in this direction. How do you suppose these yarring efforts will mesh with the U.S. Uh, efforts to get proximity talks started with uh, Assistant Secretary of State Joe Sisko as the, as somebody called him this morning, the bellboy going from one hotel room to the other? <laughs> Well, I think the two efforts are complementary. Uh, they don't exclude each other. Uh, I welcome every effort uh, made by a, a, any government uh, because I think we have to do everything possible to overcome the actual uh, stalemate. And uh, therefore, if the American efforts are successful, I would be very happy. But uh, I don't know whether this is uh, what the situation is right now. I think it, uh, we have to wait and see how things uh, develop. At any rate, uh, it is our duty uh, to continue our efforts in this respect.